Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, the title of this video is uh, an Australian dollar FS a trader shares his trading uh, strategies. Australian dollar FS a trader shares his trading uh, strategy. So we are the yearly chart of the Australian dollar US dollar currency pair. And uh, we're going to talk about, okay, Australian dollar, FS trader, share his trading uh, strategy. Looking at the yearly chart, you can see that the price is forming a double bottom here. And um, if uh, this candlestick bar here, 2016 candlestick bar, uh, stays uh, bullish, which means the closing price is above the opening price at the end of uh, December 2016. Okay, that will constitute okay a bullish candlestick pattern. All right, so we will consider this as uh, a kind of a hammer candlestick bar after a bearish candlestick bar. So next year, uh, professional traders will be giving priority to bullish signal where above the media line of the range of the candlestick bar of 2016. So this is the candlestick bar for 2016, applying a Fibonacci retracement to the range of that candlestick bar of 2016, the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, which is a very, very important Fibonacci uh, retracement level for traders that are trading Australian dollar, US dollar, in 2017, all right, even from now onward, the level that all the professionals are watching is the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the range of this uh, candlestick bar that 50% Fibonacci adjustment level is the level of a 07330 07 uh, that's uh, the black line on my chart here if you trade the Australian dollar US dollar currency pair you want to know that level down and you do not want to forget that level throughout 2017 in fact from today you don't want to forget that level 073 Three zero. All right, very very important. The next level that we must watch currently now, talking about short term to medium term, if we are trading the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair, that level is at zero seven five four nine. That's the pink line on my chart. Zero seven five four nine. That level, the pink line, is the media line of um, the month of uh, November. So you see here, this is the month of November 2016. If we apply Fibonacci retracement to the range of this uh, monthly candlestick bar, the 50% Fibonacci retracement is somewhere near the level of 07549. So the the most important key level is 073, okay, all right, 30, is that correct? Yes, that's the black line, 073. Oh, hold, on, hold on, please. I'm going back to the yearly chart so I can tell you clearly. Yeah, that's correct, all right? That's a 07330. You don't want to forget that level from today and also throughout 2017. The next key level that we must watch talking, watch, talking about the short term to the medium term, is the media line of November 2016. is at 07549. That's all. all right? So the price now quite close to the media line of November 2016. You can see that. Uh, Okay, you see, it's quite close to the pink line. Yes, now that's where we are now, near that level. Okay, if you go to the Hopefully we see on the hourly time frame my pink line. Here it is. Can you see it? That's my pink line. That's the media line of 2000 of the month of November 2016. It's here. All right. So, in fact, there is a consolidation taking place. If I go to the daily chart, you'll see now. 
Okay, there's a consolidation now. You can see that the price, in fact, uh, there's a consolidation. Watch it here. Watch it. If I put it a little bit up, that would make more sense. Yes. Between now uh, 07780, remember that level, 07780, and the level of uh, 07330, and the pink line is the media line of that channel. 07549. So remember 07780, 07549, and 07330. At this point in time, what can we say to traders? We'll say to traders priority to bullish signal above this important key level 07330. As the price going up, if it's approaching uh, the pink line, 07549, we need to be ready to take profit. All right? Because that's the media line of that big channel, because the current market pattern, so one of the biggest, okay, trading mistake is the violation of the market pattern. So on the daily chart, there is a consolidation taking place. The strategy that professionals are using is to look for an opportunity to buy near the level of 07330. They will take their first profit as it's coming near 05, 07549. And if it breaks above 07549 and for the support, they will try to buy it, expecting it to go up to 07780. But it's not finished. There are more three. There is a bigger channel apart from the horizontal channel that i'm showing you here on a daily chart if we go uh, to the monthly chart you will see that in fact that horizontal channel is uh, a medium term trend in comparison to the long term trend the long term trend is uh, the bearish channel you see the red bearish channel that's the long term trend is bearish but the medium term trend is a consolidation. So let me reveal one little secret to you, is that if you are day trading and swing trading, you do not want to fight with the medium term trend. We will be talking about this a little bit more, but I will leave it to you later, all right? Though the long term term trend is bearish, the medium term trend is a consolidation right here, all right? But Remember, professional buying near 07330. It's coming near the media line of the month of November 2016, which is the pink line 07549. They will take the profit, first profit. If it breaks above that level of funding support, they will expect it to go near the 07780. This financial instrument, the Australian dollar, uh, US dollar, will become truly, truly bullish after the price fund is support above the level of 07780. Remember that. But you don't want to ignore the top of the red channel, all right? Because if you want to buy above the pink line, you will prefer it to go above okay, the red channel. That would be a better place because you don't want to buy near that red uh, trail line. You prefer to buy instead above another key level here, which is the green line here, above 07600 at a time when the price is above, okay, the red trend line that I have drawn on my monthly chart. This is about, uh, okay, Australian dollar FS trader share his uh, trading strategy. In order to achieve consistent winning trend, one must first identify the long-term market pattern, the short, uh, the medium-term market pattern, and at a time when one is about to buy, one should always, we're talking about the entry time frame, should align with the medium term. Okay, very, very important. The short-term trend should be aligned with the medium term. All right, for day trade, that is very important, all right? For a swing trader, in order to swing trade like a pro, one will wait for the medium-term trend to align with the long-term trend trend. All right? But now we see that the price form a low here, 
Now it bounced up to 2016. All this currency pair has done, so if I've been trading this currency pair, you are wondering what's going on, is because the medium term trend, so from January 2016, that's what the price did. Look, look at this. That's all. It just bounced from the lower part of the red channel and to retest the other side. Now it came down a bit. That's what it did. Well, this is what this is how you know what's going on. Though the long term term trend was bearish, you can see that from uh, January 2016 up to uh, October 2016, the price was in this uh, small rising channel. This is the medium term trend. The red channel is represent representing the long term term trend, but you can see that the medium term trend was in a rising channel. You don't want to fight with the medium term trend. Especially if you are a day trader or a swing trader. Now, normally, you can see as you touch this level here, people will try to sell it. So it's very important to understand that we are giving priority to bullish signal only above 07330. All right? Which is the median line of the range of 2016. So next year, if this financial instrument comes back below 07330 and final resistance, we will continue to sell it. We must watch the support level at 07126. If it continues to go down, all right, we want to watch the low of uh, okay, January 2016, which is at uh, 06827. This is the end of this tutorial. As always, we are looking for a trading setup or a bullish trading setup at a key level or on the edge of a trail line, then we implement a top-down trading method to trade it. Or we are looking for a bearish trading setup at a resistance key level, all right? And then we implement a top-down trading method or a different time frame trading method to trade it. If the signal fell, well, we are out, okay, cutting losses, all right? So now I'm talking about all this level. I was talking about the pink line. You see this one here. If I color them a little bit into uh, color them into quads, okay. Pay attention to the quads line and the pink line, okay. Those are the lines that we are watching right now. Zero seven seven eight zero zero seven five four nine and zero seven three three zero. Prior to bullish signal above zero seven three three zero and prior to bearish signal below that level. It's approaching the level of 0.7549. Be ready to take profit. Allow it to break above that pink line, even above 07600. This is the strategy that once you adopt, if one is trading, okay, the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair. So now that I highlighted those uh, okay key level, the turquoise lines and the pink line, if you go, for instance, on the weekly chart, you can see that those lines are here. It bounces here. Yeah, those are the key level that we must watch. The pink line, the turquoise line here. Here it is, all right? Okay, it makes sense, all right? Those are the key level. If you go to the daily chart, you will see clearly what's going on here. You see how the price, okay, well, came a little bit below. It came down to 07126. All right, you remember that? All right? Here it found a support at 07330. It's not by mistake, you see here, recently came down on the daily chart to touch the media line of 2016, the range, the media line of the range of 2016, here it is. Now, it's going back up a bit, all right? Get it now, all right? So, if it breaks above on the daily chart, if it comes out of the right channel, and finally support above, okay? 07600, that would be a good place to look for an opportunity to buy using the top down trading method. If it's going up, watch out for 07780. It will become very, very bullish if you find a support above 07780. If you have any question or suggestion, all right, put in a comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. You can see that the price is out of the blue channel here. You can see there is a blue channel here. We will leave a resistance on the edge of that blue channel. <coughs> Are you getting it now? We will leave a resistance on the edge of that blue channel. And then start coming down again. Or will it continue to go up above the 075? Okay, four nine.
wish you the very best in your trading and until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the tstw 24 traders talking about australian dollar fs trader share his trading strategies happy trading to you all and speak to you soon